Hi everyone, and welcome to How to Horse. I'm John. Listen, they say that frustration begins where knowledge ends. So I brought you into my office to my horse resource. Listen, if you own a horse, you're going to get frustrated sometime. That's just the nature of it. And as they learn, they don't learn in a straight line. They learn a little bit, then they fall back. Then they learn a little bit, and they fall back. Well, each time they fall back, you've got to up your horsemanship a little bit to help them through that process. It's really important that you have some place you can go to pick up a little bit of extra knowledge or inspiration or motivation. I'm a big fan of Clinton Anderson and the Down Under Horsemanship Method. I have in my library his series Gaining Respect and Control on the Ground 1, 2, and 3 and Riding with Confidence 1, 2, and 3. Now he's since up those programs to his uh, fundamental, intermediate, and advanced programs. It's kind of like the dictionary I bought in college, you know? The words have, haven't changed that much in the 20 years since I've been at, well, longer than that. But, uh, you know, there's still basic knowledge in there, and I still refer back to it when I run into a problem, or if I'm trying to maneuver and I'm having problems with it. So I have those as a resource. Uh, but I don't just have Clinton Anderson stuff. I really think that it's important to try and get get ideas from all the different trainers. And there's, you know, Ken McNabb is really good. Pat Parelli's pretty good. Chris Cox does a good job of putting out instructional videos that can really help you through some of the things that you need to work for. A couple of my favorites are... Let me get them out here. A couple of my favorites are, uh, you know, Richard Winters, this is his Step It Up DVD, and I really like that. That, that kind of helps with uh, some of the things that he does. It's got some tips from Ted Robinson, who's a, a NRCHA champion, which is really good. Uh, let's see what else I got. Oh, one of the important things about, about horsemanship that I feel is that in order for your horse to improve as a horse, I think we need to improve as a rider. And one of the, the best clinicians, I think, for this purpose is uh, Julie Goodnight. And so we got, have Julie Goodnight's Principles of Riding, Volume 1. This is Balance and Rhythm. This is Control and Communication. Both of these helped us a lot to uh, improve our balance. And she gives you exercises on how to sit in the saddle and what you need to do to be in proper balance and rhythm with the horse. So I really like these two DVDs. And then I've got some books for inspiration as well. One of my favorite books is Human to Horseman by Rick Lamb. And uh, Rick was, is just kind of a regular guy who got into horses a little bit late in life. He always wanted a horse. And it, 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 this book tells about his journey through horsemanship. So this has been really valuable for me. It's really fun to read. And I really enjoy Rick's book, Human to Horseman. One other thing, one other thing, let me just show you this. Uh, this is, I think, is really important part of any horse resource, and this is my personal journal on Jesse. I did have a horse before Jesse named Tex, that's this one right here, and I kept all of Tex's records in there, our training tips. This journal I uh, got uh, Jesse in 2007, and from the day one I started, I put who I bought her from, when I brought her home, what did I start working on, how much groundwork I did when I started riding her, and things like that are in this book. Now, as her training progressed, it became more of a medical diary. So every time she gets wormed, every time she gets vaccinated, or if she comes down with something or, or a lameness problem, I enter it in this journal. That way I can follow along. Two years from now, if she's got a limp, I want to know, hey, did she have a limp in her left front or her right front last time? I can refer to this very quickly, find out uh, what, what kind of problems she may have had in the past, where it was. And this, I find, is a really important part of owning a horse. And, uh, for example, Jessie has a reaction to vaccinations. Each time she would have a reaction, I would put the, her temperature, uh, how long she was off her feed, uh, what her, le her energy level was like, and that really helped me when I went to the vet the following year to find out uh, what we could do about that and which vaccinations that we needed to give her that were absolutely essential that she wouldn't get a reaction to. 
So I think that, that I think you'll find this valuable if you build your horse resource, then you'll have a place to go and to help build your horsemanship knowledge. I didn't get all these yesterday. This has been a very ongoing process. I invest in my education. I think it's a really important part of horsemanship. I think we all need to do it a little bit more and I hope that you'll start building your library as well. So this is my horse resource, an important part of learning how to horse. We'll see you next week. Thanks.